Hello and welcome to a short video tutorial on installing GIMP. GIMP is a um, an image editing um, application um, which can be used for you know, graphic design or photo editing that kind of thing. Um, I've been asked by a couple of people how to download and install GIMP so here's a short video tutorial on how to do that. Basically the first thing you need to do is download the installer from the GIMP website or you'll find it through the GIMP website. So if you go to www.gimp.org and on there you'll see this uh, download button here so I'll click on that um, and then within within there you go down to the GIMP for Windows section and you'll find this link here which is the installer for Windows XP Service Pack 3 or later if you click on that link it will take you to the SourceForge website and specifically to the GIMP um, download so once a, you wait for a short countdown you'll see um, the GIMP um, setup file is ready for download so we'll save that file um, if and you'll see it comes up here in fact I've actually already saved it so I'm going to skip this step but you would save that file so here I'm just going to cancel but you would obviously just save that file somewhere where you you can come back to um, okay so now let's just assume we've downloaded that file and what we do next is we basically find that same file again and we just double click on it to run that we'll be prompted to um, to acknowledge yes we do want to run that so we'll install that we'll also probably get prompted for a user access control uh, dialog uh, depending on the system configurations so okay through that as well and then you'll get to this um, language selection I'm going to choose English then we'll get to the, ins the GIMP installation dialog um, you can either do a customized install or uh, just the standard install um, the difference between the two as far as I'm aware, the customized one will associate GIMP with extra f um, image file types. Um, the standard installation won't do that, however you can always change that in the future and for most per most people's purposes the standard install will be will be just fine. So I'm going to do that one. And, um, and now GIMP is installing. Uh, so this progress bar will move all the way along to the end and once it gets to the end your installation is complete. This will take a few minutes, so what I'm going to do now is just pause the video, wait till it gets close to the end, and then we'll come back and resume. Okay, so we're just resuming the video now, and you can see GIMP is just about finished installing. Uh, once it's completed, you will get a window that pops up that says that it's finished. There we go, just like that. Um, and then from there, um, yeah, just click finish. Um, now GIMP is installed. Um, so the installer file that you had before, you don't need anymore, and you can delete that if you wish. Um, and and we're ready to use GIMP so if we just go down to our start menu um, start and you'll see a new GIMP um, icon there in your start menu or alternatively it might be in um, under programs so you can see GIMP there as well if we start that up you'll see um, a GIMP startup window the first time you run GIMP that startup window may take a while to uh, to progress through um, because GIMP needs to initialize some things on the first time. Every time you use it after that, it'll be much quicker at starting. Um, after it's started, you'll have the standard Windows or GIMP window layout. So you have a toolbox over here, and below that, some um, some tool options. Then you'll also have the GIMP main image window here with some drop-down menus along the top. And over to the right, um, you'll have another window here where we've got layers and channels, paths, undo history, etc. Uh, and down the bottom um, some brushes so that's it so now to open a um, open an image so if we just go to file and then open and we can choose a file here's one I I had put on here before just go open uh, it will load up and now we've got that image um, loaded up into GIMP and we're ready to go simple as that okay thanks for listening